Good evening to all. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Enfield High School 2011 commencement exercises. Prior to our ceremony, I want to express a very special thanks to all who worked so hard to make this evening happen in good fashion. In particular, the custodial crew here at Enfield High School led by Mr. Crowley, Mr. Dow Crowley, the town building and grounds crew who hustled to set up two separate venues to have us ready for any weather. And to Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Fairley, and Mrs. Alexander, who take care of myriad details and make us all look good. I hope you're all comfortable now as we focus on the ceremony, enjoy this beautiful weather. We're lucky to be outside, and I'm wearing my Irish tie. My shamrock tie and my special coin in my pocket, I think did the trick tonight. I thank our teachers, our department heads, and other school employees who are here this evening proudly to watch over their students for one last time. And of course, I thank Dr. Gallagher and Mr. Torrey and members of our Board of Education who work tirelessly to, in support of the students here at Enfield Public Schools. In following our tradition at Enfield High School, while our seniors make their final preparations to come down to our hill and as always approach with pride, I will say a special thanks to the grandparents that are here this evening. I ask our students how many had grandparents coming, and I'm going to say all 200 proudly and happily raised their hand. Grandparents, what I'd like you to do is please hold up your grandparent recognition orange paper. We have some bright future graduates who will pay you a brief visit with a carnation. And I'd like to take this opportunity to provide a few words of gentle grandparent lore and legend, as I usually do. Hold them up high. If you don't have one, hold two hands up high so they can find you. Thank you. Essentially, what I have here tonight is a collection from a group of third and fourth graders. But I suggest our grandparents here ask your 18-year-old graduates and think about if these are true. There's nothing like grandparents. Grandparents, let us put our vegetables back in the pot if we don't like them. A grandmother is one who comes to the football games and cheers when she doesn't even know what's happening. My grandparents always give us snacks or money or meatballs or ice cream anytime we need some. My grandpa says he has a very good memory, but he can't remember how old he is. There are many happy moments in life that are pleasant to recall, but Grandpa in his tool shed is the nicest of all. Grandparents are never too tired to help you, to help you put your shoes on, that is. Grandmothers wear glasses and funny underwear. Sometimes they can take their teeth and gums off. Grandmas never run out of hugs or cookies. 
Everybody should have grandparents, especially if you don't have a good television. They're the only grown-ups grown who always have time for us. A grandma is a wonderful mother with lots of practice. A grandmother is a little bit parent, a little bit teacher, and a little bit of a best friend. A garden of love grows in grandparents' hearts. And grandparents are a perfect blend of laughter, caring deeds, great stories, and love. Age is a matter of feeling, not years. And finally, there's no place like home except for grandmas. Grandparents, you are unique and priceless resources in our lives. Thank you for all you've done, and please accept the carnations as a sign of genuine love and respect. Congratulations and thank you. We have one very special treat tonight. Before we begin our ceremony, Ms. Brittany Dagg, an especially talented member of our class of 2011 and her father, along with our very own Mr. Tom DeFilippi and young Mr. Dominic DeFilippi, Tom's son, will perform an original song written just for tonight about graduation. So at this time, I would like to invite Brittany, Mr. Dagg, Tom and Dominic up here to perform his song for you. While we await Mr. Daggs, I'd like to announce that Mr. DeFilippi has worked in Enfield for 37 years as a social studies teacher. He's a former Enfield Teacher of the Year, a coach, a singer-songwriter, and is now retiring from the Enfield Public Schools. He's a terrific teacher who has given his all to the young people here in Enfield all during his years. Thank you to Mr. DeFilippi, a.k.a. Mr. Democracy, for all you have done for us. Congratulations. We'll miss you. I think Mr. Daggs is looking for his base. It's about the size of this stage, but I'm sure it's hidden somewhere. And if you stand and look behind you, you will see our seniors making their approach as they come down the hill. Beautiful setting with the high school in the background. Class of 2011.
the sun is called on graduation day. and thank you Dominic also retiring this year from Enfield High School from Enfield Public Schools are Mrs. Sandy Arndt teacher in the business department after 37 years of service Mrs. Arndt is with us tonight and will present the business award and Mr. Chris Senior the teacher of social studies here with us at Enfield High School we thank these excellent teachers and we'll miss them we wish them luck Brittany will now join her classmates and will begin our formal ceremony with a presentation of the flag as soon as the seniors arrive.
At this time, we will begin our formal phase of the ceremony. To begin, two of our outstanding seniors who have contributed much, each in their own ways, will serve as flag bearers. Jeremy Chevalier, who joined the U.S. Army National Guard, will bear and present the flag of the United States. Michelle Mullen, who joined the United States Army, will bear and present this, the flag of the state of Connecticut. Our flags proclaim our strength and our unity. These are symbols of liberty and freedom. And tonight, we are again honored to have Officer Mark Rochette of the Enfield Police Department and former Marine Corps member in military dress here to accompany our flag bearers. We thank him for being here with our graduates. As Jeremy and Michelle approach bearing our flags, I ask everyone to reflect upon the valor and sacrifice of our civilian and military personnel standing in harm's way all over the world. The U.S. flag we have here was flown over the U.S. Capitol four years ago on Lance Corporal Johnson's 20th birthday. Phil was a 2005 graduate of Enfield High School who entered the United States Marine Corps, was killed in Iraq on September 3rd of 2006. Phil's family has graciously allowed us to keep this flag and display it with pride and honor in his memory. Please all stand now as we present our flags. After the flags are posted, please remain standing for a moment of silence. I ask now that as we stand in silence, remember our own Philip Johnson of the Marine Corps, and along with your personal thoughts and intentions, please remember the soldiers, firefighters, and police who have lost their lives both on and off American soil. Thank you. Jeremy will be reporting to Fort Sill in Oklahoma on July 5th and Michelle to Fort Benning in August. Jeremy was proud to ask me to wear his uniform 
while carrying the flag and he will return into his Enfield High School graduation gown in line. First time we've ever done that.
Our national anthem tonight will be performed by eight seniors from our student chorus. Mr. John Gianfrido, a choral teacher of musicians here at Enfield High School, will direct them. This is a superb rendition of our national anthem. Sutphin, Andrea Depotat, Ben Hosley, Stephen Nimitz, Jordan LaRusso, Stephanie Borbo. Thank you. Good evening to all, and welcome to the Enfield High School commencement exercises for the class of 2011. This evening is ours to enjoy. A few raindrops won't hurt us. Welcome to Dr. John Gallagher, our superintendent, to Mr. Torrey, our assistant superintendent, and to our Board of Ed chairperson, Mr. Greg Stokes, our Board of Ed members, Mr. Chuck Johnson, Mr. Vinny Grady, Mr. Tom Serrard, Mrs. Judy Aparisi de Roche, Mrs. Joyce Hall, Mrs. Donna Suzanne, Mrs. Stacy Thurston, and welcome to Scott Kalpin, Mayor of Enfield. By working together, our central office, the Board of Ed, and our town council all support our mission to help our students in the Enfield Public Schools become productive members in our society. Welcome to our Enfield High School teachers and department heads who are here to admire their students as they prepare to leave and indeed become graduates. And a special welcome to our parents, grandparents, friends, and relatives. And I say congratulations to our Enfield High School seniors. Tonight you're here to celebrate and be recognized for your hard work. Feel good about yourselves. Feel good about what you have accomplished for tonight starts a new journey that points you towards new opportunities. You're seated here tonight after four years of success at Enfield High School, two successful years at JFK, and six in our fine elementary schools. You are a product of the Enfield Public School Systems, and we are indeed proud of you. 204 graduates are ready to launch from Enfield High School tonight. 44% have earned high honors in junior and senior year. 
You had 31 students in your National Honor Society as seniors. Your highest SAT scores are 780 in critical reading, 780 in math, and 760 in writing, near the top of the scale. Guidance tells me that 102 of you will attend a four-year college, 53 will attend a two-year college, eight will enter directly into the workforce, and eight of you are enlisted in some branch of the military. Four Four of you are going to a career or technical school, and 18 are still considering your options. And Mrs. Agonis gave me some really nice numbers yesterday. Generous local benefactors awarded almost $49,000 in scholarship assistance to you, and your grants and scholarships from an impressive array of universities and programs in and out of state that you'll be entering in September total nearly $543,000. Your grand total amounts to $591,861 in grants and scholarships. And that's pretty impressive and we want you to do something with it. Your community service hours through the National Honor Society, Youth Vote, Darfur Awareness, various other clubs total nearly 1,100 hours this year alone and your leadership in diverse fundraising efforts through various service clubs have helped local and international causes with an aggregate of nearly $3,200. You've all learned and experienced much during your time at Enfield High School. You have enlivened and enriched Enfield High School with your contributions. I'm lucky to have been the principal here for your four years. Your overall spirit, cooperation, Respect for one another and fun-loving personalities have been a joy for all of us. As a result, I have just a short but representative you haven't lived until list that I have to share tonight. You haven't lived until you've seen Andrew Bueno run the 110-6. You haven't lived until you've seen Martin Calden and his army come to school fully dressed as Vikings every October 4th for four years. You haven't lived until you've seen Mark Sanzo, our All-Stater in Volleyball, spike with precision and authority time after time, game after game. And you haven't lived until you've seen Catherine Oliver and Sammy Wages flexing their skinny little muscles, daintily schlepping a heap of milk cartons away from the garbage and into the recycle bins, day after day after day. You haven't lived until you've seen Lauren Cody in her orange stockings and raccoon tail busy at a lab station in biology class. You haven't lived until you've seen the Schlask sisters conduct questions and moderate the second district congressional debate here at Enfield High School. You haven't lived until you've seen Mark Baracci and Mike Hornick do their precise dance rendition to Lady Gaga's Bad Romance. Pretty impressive. And you haven't lived until you've seen Dan Vita crush Claudia Kanapka in a hotly contested balloon volleyball game in a post-flood PE class with Mrs. Hudson. I'm not sure if Claudia ever recovered from that. You haven't lived until you've seen Jordan LaRusso jump for joy after winning the Kia Soul at the senior class picnic. And finally, you haven't lived until you've heard Mike Desmond sing happy birthday to Mr. Gerard and Mr. Longy at 7.30 a.m. over the fully amplified all-school PA system. <laughs> Truly memorable. I have many, many more great memories and moments wrapped around all seniors from this class of 2011, and I'll always cherish them. That's just a sample. I wish I had more time to tell you all. This class you have great potential, and as you leave here tonight, set goals and live up to that potential. And as I do each year, I want to reference my favorite quote, many of the board members have heard it, from the year 1900 that says, out of public schools grows the greatness of a nation. You are the class of 2011, and you are the greatness from our public schools here in Enfield. You are the future of our nation. Remember, someone else's dreams will get you nowhere. Set your own goals, make good decisions to achieve them. Come home often, call home often, text anytime you want, email, and no matter where you go, be safe, cruise with caution. Thank you and congratulations to each one of you. I would now like to invite Mr. Dennis Gerard to the podium.
the class of 2011, dedicated their yearbook to Dennis. The class and he developed a great relationship through the past four years, and I'm very happy to have Mr. Gerard come to the podium at this time. Thank you, and good evening so far. <laughs> it's been a tradition here for a while that the person to whom the seniors dedicate the yearbook, me in this case, offers a few remarks to the parents of the graduates, and I will keep with that tradition before saying a few final words to my friends. And parents, my message to you is simple. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have done a terrific job with one of life's most difficult tasks, raising children. In a world that seems to be filled with bad, bad news, bad role models, bad weather, you have kept your children away from pessimism and cynicism. My friends on either side here have an open-eyed, optimistic view of their futures. They firmly believe that they can accomplish whatever they set their minds to. And they're right. It's often been said that the youth of today is our hope for tomorrow. That's not quite right. This youth is not necessarily our hope for tomorrow. They are our guarantee of success in the future. A couple of weeks ago at class night, I thanked your sons and daughters for giving me the best four years of my 43 in education. And now I want to publicly thank you. Parents, thank you for your children. So on to my friends. Before you leave, I have one last homework assignment for you. Two parts. First, I want you to create a life for yourselves that is satisfying and gives you a sense of self-worth. Some of you already know what that life is going to look like, be it working as a pharmacist or entering the armed services or being a Spanish teacher. Now, to those of you who aren't quite sure, don't worry. This is a long-range assignment. You have time. And I'm convinced that when that time comes, you will know what to do and grab your future. Now, how am I so sure about this? Well, I am. I'm very sure that you folks can accomplish what you set out to do. And why? Well, because that wise and wonderful wordsmith Katy Perry told me. <laughs> when she spoke those words and sung those words, I knew she was talking about you. Who else could it be? Who else would be that wonderful? I am convinced you are all going to complete this homework assignment. And in fact, I'm publicly inviting myself to your fifth year reunion. And when I go there, I'll be checking homework. Okay. Now, as I said, you can accomplish whatever you want. I know you can. And how do I know? Because I know you are all fireworks. I know you will all show them what you're worth. I know you will make them go, oh, 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 <laughs> as you shoot across the sky. Finally, two last things. Class of 2011, thank you for everything you have given me, and you have given me very, very much. And lastly, don't forget to do your homework. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gerard. At this time, I'm proud to invite to the podium our salutatorian for the class of 2011, Melissa, Marissa LaRose.
Hello, class of 2011. Dr. Gallagher, Mr. Duffy, board members, parents, family, friends, teachers, and administrators, welcome, and thank you for helping us reach our graduation. For 12 years, we have gotten on and off the yellow bus. We've waited in the sun, the rain, the snow. Our life has been planned and our paths have been cleared. But now, that bus will no longer be there in the morning. Instead, we wake up the creators and inventors of our own paths, no longer guided in our day-to-day -day routines. Which way will you go? Some off to college, some off to work, and some off to the military. But we are all leaving this place that we have called home for all these years. You know, the dictionary states that graduation is simply the ceremony where one receives a diploma. But we, the class of 2011, know it is so much more than that. It's our hard work paying off. It's all the countless hours we spent studying and all the essays we wrote finally coming to an end, if only briefly. We also know that this is the last time we will sit as a class and recall all of the hurdles we've jumped along the way. The class of 2011 has shown resilience from the flood, from the flood and fire of our freshman year to the sleep-deprived mornings of our senior year. We survived CAPT and the SATs. We sat through countless classes praying for the bell to ring a little earlier just this once. Or we sat in our desks hoping that the teacher would forget to check the homework. But no matter what high school threw at us, our resilience is what brought us to our graduation. Even in the face of a panic-inducing job crisis, our resilience will give us the courage to pursue our life's interests because we know that we can survive anything. It's important for us to remember that we shouldn't forego happiness in favor of sensibility. With the average person working well over 90,000 hours in a lifetime, life is too short to be spent being miserable behind a desk when you'd rather be doing your passion. Choosing to follow your happiness will be the most rewarding, even if it's not the most practical or profitable choice. We'll always have the fear of falling, but we can't let the fear consume us because if we're doing something we truly love, it's well worth the risk. The thought of leaving is exhilarating and unnerving. We'll no longer be riding the yellow bus together. Instead, we are given the chance to be on our own with our two-wheel bikes. We have the freedom to ride wherever we choose, whether it be on a mountain trail or a simple dirt path. We can set our own pace and enjoy the ride because getting there is half the fun. Plus, it's eco-friendly. We are now our own force, our own motivation. Our training wheels are off, whether we like it or not. Our parents and teachers have given us the push and we will spend the next few years trying to find our balance. Should we fall, we have the strength and determination to keep going. With each hill we encounter, we grow stronger. We know that at some point, we will be flying with the wind at our backs. But no matter what elements surround us, we'll keep pedaling through it all. We may even dare to raise our hands above our heads to enjoy and embrace the thrill of the ride. Thank you, Marissa, so much for my Irish look. <laughs> At this time, I would now invite our class valedictorian, Catherine Oliver, to present her speech, her thoughts, her message to the class of 2011. Valedictorian Catherine Oliver.
Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, teachers, administrators, and of course, the class of 2011. I am honored to stand here before you, a proud member of the 199 students graduating today. The 199 students that have arrived at this very important milestone. I congratulate you. I congratulate us for making it this far because that proves that we have what Winston Churchill so boldly declared. We have the courage to continue. Determination and perseverance have always been a part of who I am. Be it academically or athletically, I have never known myself to settle for less, to back down, or God forbid, to give up. Throughout my high school career, I have worked hard. I have pushed myself because I believe that that is what it takes to achieve. You may ask why. Why slave over school? And believe me, I have asked myself time and time again the very same question. The reason I push myself to achieve, to excel, is because I am constantly trying to prove to myself that I can do more. But the thing is, doing more is an indefinite process. I have chosen to view this process positively to perceive it as a challenge, albeit a never-ending challenge, but a challenge nonetheless, and one worth living for. Whatever lies ahead for you, be it college, the workforce, or the armed forces, remember, success is not final. Earn the associates, go for the bachelors, work for the masters, become the doctor, and yet, still more remains. Earn the position, work for the promotion, become the manager, and yet still more remains. A lifetime of applying the knowledge you have gained and hopefully making a difference in our world. Life is a never-ending journey of proving yourself to no one but yourself. A never-ending process of learning, of growing, and it is the courage to continue that counts. Over the past four years, I feel as though we have truly grown as a class, grown together. With experiences shared, both good and bad, memories made, some happy, some not, lessons have been learned, lifelong friendships have developed, and in its own unique way, our time here at Enfield High School has definitely had an impact on each of us. Now, as we prepare for the next step in our journey, we can look back with a newfound confidence. Whatever lies ahead for you, go forth with confidence. Strive to succeed, but also expect at times to fail. As we know, the United States is currently experiencing a tough economic recession. It has been predicted that our generation will have difficulty finding a job upon graduation, never mind one that is steady and well-paying. Our future carries so many unknowns. You have to ask yourself, will you find a job? Will you be successful? Will you find love and happiness? Will you find your place in life? Despite our future's seemingly endless list of uncertainties and unexpected obstacles, we cannot back down in fear. We must not let control us what we cannot control. Yes, we will experience adversity and failure, but remember, failure is not fatal. We must stand up to these challenges, take that next course, go for that interview, Apply yourself and express who you are. Be persistent and be bold. 
Possess the courage to continue. Own it. For this mindset will take you anywhere you wish to go. As a member of the class of 2011, I am honored to stand here before you today and privileged to be able to share with you my thoughts and most sincere words of advice. Whether you listened attentively and took me seriously, or whether your mind slipped away to a pleasant daydream, I can only hope that each of you comes away with this. Never stop achieving, for success is not final. Never give up, for failure is not fatal. It is your desire, your willingness to press on, the courage to continue that counts. Go forth with courage and live up to your true potential. Congratulations to the class of 2011. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Wonderful speech. We appreciate your thoughts. And thank you, Marissa. We do have certificates that we will present to Marissa and Catherine and their families from the State Department. Uh, and then we're going to compress the time a little bit so we get to the conferring of our diplomas. So I'll make a few decisions here. But they're beautiful. We don't want to get them wet. We'll present them at a time that's appropriate. Now we'd like to have Sam Wages come to the podium. Sam will present the class gift from the class of 2007. 2011, sorry. Did I say seven? Yeah. <laughs> Back to the future? What, what, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2011, I will now present the class gift. Today, the class of 2011 is saying goodbye to a chapter in our life that I could consider the best four years of our lives. In the last four years, friendships have been formed, clubs organized, and athletic titles awarded. Reminiscing on the past four years with students and staff, my fellow class officers and I had realized that athletics was always a driving force in what shaped the graduates next to me. From the football gods to the track stars, the soccer team, the baseball team, and countless others, without athletics, the class of 2011 might not have been the same. With this, the class of 2011 would like to leave the Enfield High School and athletic departments funds to update and when renovate the weight room. Thank you. Thank you, Sammy. On behalf of the Board of Education, the staff, and the students of Enfield High School who will benefit from this, I accept the generous offer and the well-thought-out gift. The future students at Enfield High School will benefit from these much-needed improvements to our weight room. Again, I'm going to compress time a little bit. We generally have an exchange of the flags. We have a foreign exchange student from Japan. This is not, it's Ms. Nao Miara, and I would ask now to stand and be recognized and thank her for sharing her life with us as she spent a year here away from her native Japan. If Nao would please stand. Where's Nao? Okay. I'm just going to squeeze the time a little bit. Nao has a few words to say to us. She has shared her life with us went to many activities, and became very much an active member in the class of 2011. Okay. Come on. Okay, thank you. Dr. Garriker, Mr. Tory, Mr. Duffy, members of the board of education faculty and class of 2011. Konnichiwa, watashi no namae wa Miyara Nao desu. 
ちょうど10ヶ月前にこのエンフィールドに留学生として日本から来ました。Hi, my name is now Miyala, exactly 10 months ago. I came to Enfield as an exchange student from Japan. I want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity for this unforgettable experience. Thank you for welcoming me into your school and community. I really appreciate it. Four years ago, my sister came here as an exchange student, but she went to follow me. At first, I didn't want to be an exchange student because now my friends were going to do it, and I would have to repeat my last year in Japan if I came. But my sister told me that I should come and told me a good thing about e v e r y t h i and the friends that she made here. I'm glad I listened to her and came here because she was right. My, give, my biggest challenge in America was waking up early in the morning. Waking up at 6 a.m. was unusual for me because my school in Japan started at 8 45 in the morning. I always woke up at 7 45 or 8 o'clock. But we stay in school until 5 o'clock p.m. And twice a month we have go, <laughs> sorry. And twice a month we have school on Saturday. I like both of the schedule because I think both of them have a good part. Another challenge for me was the 18th letter of the alphabet R. <laughs> I still have a problem pronouncing it because the Japanese language doesn't have an R sound. One word that makes my host、uh, laugh is when I say guitar, the <laughs> musical instrument, or my host brother's name, Raymond. But I think I'm getting better at saying it, I'm, and I'm、uh, <laughs> comfortable when I speak English. Thank you. This spring, I joined the tennis team with my friends. Every day we have practices and games after school, and sometimes it was hard, and,、uh, but it was fun too. I love playing tennis, and I love my coaches and my teacher of、uh, my team. Thank you for teaching me and letting me play with you. I also joined the art club. I do playing,、uh, painting, and ceramic. It was the first time I did ceramic working. It was so difficult to make the shape, but I love doing it. When I go home, I don't know if I will be able to do it because it isn't easy to find a ceramic place, so I will miss this work. This May, Japan has hit with an earthquake and tsunami. When I, start,、uh, when I first knew of it, I was so scared because I didn't know my, about my family and my friends. I learned that day that my fr- family was safe, but I had to wait to hear several weeks about my friend. But being away from them at the f- time was so difficult and I was so afraid. This whole school year has been a wonderful one. I have learned so much about myself and、uh, about American life. Before I came here, I didn't appreciate all that my parents did for me, but now I realize how important my fr- family is to me. I think I have grown up a lot. I am, o- I am also appreciative of my past family. Jim and Susan Frost. If you didn't pick me, I would not have been able to come to Enfield. You have always taken care of me like a real daughter. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for now seeing m a r t h a or my youth for understanding a real lab for helping me. To my friends, thank you for all of your help throughout this unforgettable year. I'm so glad to have studied study with you and will miss you. I wish all the best of luck and success in the future. I will come back to visit e n f i e l d someday. To the class of 2011, go Raiders!
Thank you, Nell. Nell has enriched our lives as a friend and a student. We'll miss her, and we wish her well upon her return to Japan. Again, I'm going to compress time a little bit here. I think you all understand why. Uh, I would refer you to our partner program where it shows who received the four years of excellence for departments. I'm going to ask them to stand. Please give them a round of applause all at once, and then we will present the chords after they get their diploma, when they get their little memento diploma. Um, for art, Nicole Grechi. For business, Samantha Wages. For English, Marissa LaRose. Please stand and wave. For family and consumer science, Rebecca Doner. For mathematics, Catherine Oliver. For instrumental music, Mary DeProto. For vocal music, Mary Hastings. For physical education, Kevin Merker. For science, Claudia Kanapka. For social studies, Patrick Knighton. Technology education, Danny Sezus. Vocational education, Jonathan Landry. And in world languages, Rachel Boulet. Four years of excellence in each subject, voted by the faculty and well earned and deserved by the students. Thank you and congratulations. Again, we will present the chords at the time we, we go for diplomas. At this time, we will confer the certificates. We need to get it done. Thank you. I ask Mr. Longy and Mr. Stokes to come to the podium. About as good as mine. About as good as mine. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Oliver. Marissa Ann LaRose. Amanda. Pauline Baker, <laughs> Stephanie Marie Bourbeau, Lauren Elizabeth Cody, Michelle Andrea Coulard, Taylor Christine Demure. Jessica Golden, Nicole S. Grachy, Alexa Ray Grigley, Grace Halleck, Kelly E. Haskell. Amanda Jane Hodgson, Amani Sammy Issa, Caitlin Elizabeth Jameson, Corey Nicole Keshen, Claudia Kanapka, Rachel Renee Osada. Carissa Rose Pelletier. <laughs> Megan S. Peluso. Christina Sanzo. Amanda Marie Sarno. Jacqueline Brianna Soderquist. 
Samantha Faith Wages. Tyler Ann Stone. Janixa Irene Aquino. <laughs> Tila Savoy. Rebecca Megan Bowen. Jennifer Ashley Boyd. Brianna Ashley Simino. Rachel Nicole Corso. Brittany Nicole Daggs. Renee Lynn Daigle. Alexandra T. DeLong. Anthony Joseph Albertson. Anthony Victor DiMaggio. Garrison M. Clark. Michael Raymond DeRoche. Jeffrey M. George. Matthew J. Haskell. Edward William LaJoy. Andrew Vaughn Martin. Michael Richard Rucci. Dylan A. Zimmerman. Joel Hutchins Areta. Alexander H. Belecki. Zachary M. Boucher. Andrew J. Buano. Ryan M. Butcher. Martin A. Calden. Robert Victor Caravello II. Nicholas Mark Caruso. Imran Chardry. Zadik Dwayne Davis. Wayne Glenn DeBattis. Aaron Dela Cruz. Michael Allen Desmond. Daniel Gagnon. Eric James Gates. Max W. Grozik. Anthony James Gugliotti. Michael Walter Hall. Ahmed Hani Haman. Muhammad S. Isa. Joshua Johnson. Jolyn M. Denigris. Andrea Francis Depotat. Kelsey C. Despard. Mary Elizabeth R. DeProto. Megan Elise Fisher. 
Felicia Marie Gardner. Mary Megan Hastings. Alexandria O'Neill King. Melissa Katowski. Aaron Jean Littlejohn. Samantha Lauren Loveday. Kelly Marsha Martin. Nicole A. Munier. Now Miara. Brittany Ann Mosier. Michelle Renee Mullen. Christina Rose Pacheco. Lindsay Ray Pilardi. Ashley Peppel. Sarah Ann Reinhardt. Peyton Santoro. Katrina A. Boris. Nicole Aaron Schlask. Rebecca Ann Schlask. Allison J. Sharon. Jody Beth Shumsky. Heather Elizabeth Slavin. Sarah Ann Woodmancy. Amanda Kathleen Wright. Jenna Lynn Zetterholm. Jennifer Lee Conoyer. Danielle A. Baker. Caitlin Bennett. Rachel Boulette. Julie Ann Cook. Catherine Ellen Degler. Adrian Pluk. Thomas J. Knapp. Brandon Joseph Krasenkevich. Jonathan William Landry. Ronald G. LaRussa. Thomas Cedric Logan. Muhammad Wadu Malik. Jonathan Michael Mastrangelo. Kevin Matthew Merker. Thomas Robert Messenger Jr. Paul Anthony Minotti. Kevin Robert Nelson. Stephen M. Nemitz. Christopher Noble. Travis Harris. Dylan James Rainville. Michael Anthony Romay. Ryan M. Rosario. 
Dylan Ruby. Ronnie T. Salas. Mark Anthony Sanzo. Tyler C. Savage. Nicholas Peter Smith. Andrew Christopher Teeling. Joseph Thomas Turcott. Daniel P. Vida. Jeremy Thomas John Wise. Nicholas Martin Andexler. Nicholas Michael Oresco. Michael Peter Baraki Jr. Daniel James Cesus. Jeremy A. Chevalier. Taylor M. Flagg. Eliza Ann Gonzalez. Alicia Ann Hiscock. Elizabeth Mary Isley. Melissa Lee Labby. Jordan Sarah LaRusso. Catherine M. Lavasser. Molly Catherine McGinnis. Christina Ashley Messina. Natasha Lynn Mishlevietz. Kristen M. Nicolay. Jacqueline Page Orifice. Alex Amber Rosignol. Emily Catherine Rund. Chelsea Lynn Russell. Ayla J. Soikali. Stephanie Sarita Tomakis. Megan E. Thompson. Caitlin M. Turley. Audrey Beth Wananen. Tashay Monique Winborn. Angela Jean DeVito. Rebecca May Donor. Brooke Elizabeth Hanfield. Brianna Ashley Johnson. Emily Jean Johnson. Alexandria Elizabeth Orsalak. Brianna Gail Ouellette. Michelle Catherine Sittler. Emily R. Williams. Ryan Robert Darby. Andrew Dombrowski. Joshua A. Elko. Timothy A. Fournier. Eric T. Gurnix. Vinny James Grillo. 
Michael Alexander Hornig. Benjamin Ermens Hosley. John Thomas Lake. Ian Philip McDonald. Sean T. McGuire. Joseph L. Newcomb. They're gone now. Nicholas M. Van Odenhove. Zachary Parsons Peruda. Dylan Niner Peppel. Nathan T. Rainey. Ryan A. Rabosa. John Connors Reed. Devin Joseph Ryan. Frank Christopher Salas. Stephen Eric Starozik. Robert Allen Strevo. Joshua A. Strauss. Justin John Zakula. Zachary Byron Thurston. Joshua A. Wimay. Antonio James Young. Stefan Legu. Michael Robert Richardson. Cameron Raymond Sutphin. Miles M. Walsh. Tyler M. Watts. Christopher Williams. Michael A. Sullivan. Adam Wunsch. At this time, I certify the graduates sitting before you have met all requirements set forth by the Enfield Board of Education and the State Board of Education of Connecticut. At this time, Sam Wages will certify in informal ways that will graduate all at once. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, through Sam Wages, the class graduating 2011. Thank you all, congratulations, and let's enjoy a few minutes and then get to safety. Thank you.
Reach out to me. 